Immerse yourself in the captivating plot that revolves around Dastin, brilliantly portrayed by Jake Gyllenhaal. Join him on his thrilling journey as a street urchin in ancient Persia during the vibrant and historically rich Persian Empire in the 6th century. Prepare to be transported to a fascinating era filled with intrigue and adventure. With his remarkable bravery demonstrated in the market, he catches the attention of none other than the king himself, who recognizes his potential and welcomes him into his embrace. Fifteen years later, Dastin and his royal-blooded foster brothers Garsev and Tus lead the Persian army in an attack on the sacred city of Alama. Under the assumption that the city's people are selling weapons to their enemies, as shown by Nizam, the king's brother and advisor. As Garsev leads the initial assault, Dastin decides to lead a surprise attack with his friend Bis against the orders of his brother. He manages to open the eastern gate of Alamut and prevents further casualties. In the midst of the intense battle in the city, Dastin emerges victorious against one of Princess Tamina's guards. This guard happened to be holding the legendary Dagger of Time, adding a touch of mystique to the encounter. The dagger gives its owner the ability to go back in time for a short period so that the user can try to correct any mistake or redo any moment. The Lamut falls to the Persians. Tamina is captured and is offered as a wife for Tus, which would make the city of Alamut a part of the Persian Empire. The Persians celebrate their victory, but during the celebration Prince Dastan is fooled into presenting a poison gown seemingly given to him by Tus to King Sharaman, which fatally burns the king. Prince Dastan is held as the perpetrator of his father's murder. He escapes the castle with Princess Tamina while Bis, his best friend, is killed trying to save them. Together, they embark on a journey the prince wants to prove his innocence, while Tamina wants to safeguard the Dagger of Time. On the first night, Tamina attempts to kill the prince and recover the dagger, but Dastin accidentally activates the dagger and learns about its ability to rewind time for one minute and in doing so, prevents Tamina from attacking. Dastin believes that Tus knew about the dagger and framed Dastin for their father's murder in an attempt to seize the throne and the dagger, thus becoming the most powerful ruler of Persia. During their journey, the duo meets a group of merchant bandits in the Valley of Slaves, including entrepreneur and ostrich racing organizer Sheikh Amr with his friend Siso who hails from the NG Baka, Masters of the Throwing Knives. Dastin offers Tamina up as a slave in return for their hospitality. However, the bandits try to take the Dagger of Time and take Dastin to the newly crowned Tus because of the reward for his capture, they fail in the process. While the two escape, Dastin and Tamina return to Persia for King Sharaman's funeral. Dastin tries to convince his uncle Nizam that he was not the cause of his father's death, only to discover the dagger was taken by Tamina. Instead, he notices the burns on Nizam's hands, which indicate he was the one who set up the murder of the king. Furthermore, Nizam has set up an ambush for Dastin along the Persian streets, and after a conflict with his brother Garsev, Dastin escapes. Meanwhile, back in Persia, Nizam, aware that Dastin knows he was responsible, tries to convince the newly crowned King Tus and Garsev that Dastin is trying to overthrow them and must be killed without a trial to avoid a rebellion. When this fails, Nizam hires the Hassansins, a group of highly skilled warriors who once served as hired killers for Persian royalty. Nizam had kept the sect hidden for his own ends after Sharaman had them disbanded. Dastin catches up with Tamina and explains that the villainous brother of the king, Nizam was behind it all. The attack of Alama was based on false allegations provided by Nizam and promoted with a motive to attain the Dagger of Time and use it with the massive Sanjlas, which is hidden under the city of Alama. This way, Nizam would go back in time before he had saved Sharaman from being attacked by a lion and undo the act, hence ensure that he becomes the king of Persia. However, Tamina reveals that the Sanjlas is the vessel holding the sands of time, which the gods conjured to punish humanity for its sins. A pure-hearted girl. Offering her life, convince them to seal the sands. Should the dagger of time be used to pierce the sand glass, the sands would be released and destroy the entire world. The holder of the dagger may also turn back time as far as they please. The pair then put aside their differences and agree to work together to protect the dagger. Dastin and Tamina are again captured by Sheikh Amr, Siso, and their group because of the chaos they caused back at the valley. Sheikh intends to claim the reward for turning them in to renew his business. But that night, when everyone is asleep, the Hassansin leader attacks the group in an oasis by controlling a number of vipers. Many of the group die, but Dastin uses the dagger to rewind time, and, foreseeing the attack, manages to kill all the snakes single-handedly, saving Siso in the process. The Hassansin leader then leaves in a sand dervish. The next day, the pair, now accompanied by Sheikh and Siso, travel to the secret sanctuary in the mountains near India, where it's possible to seal the dagger by returning it to the stone where it came from. In order to do so, Tamina would have to sacrifice herself, but it fails as they run into Garsev's men. Dastin, however, manages to persuade his brother that he is innocent, only for Garsev to be killed by a flurry of spike knives thrown by a Hassansin. The Hassanin attack, killing many of the group, while their leader manages to snatch the Dagger of Time from Tamina by using a trained snake. 
However, Dastan is saved from the last Hassanson by Garsev, who then succumbs to his injuries. Tamina and Dastan, as well as Sheikh Amr and Siso, return to Alama to reveal the truth about Nizam and the dagger to Tus. First, they must get the dagger, which is kept in the sacred temple, guarded by the Hassanson who killed Garsev. Siso, the master of throwing knives, fights the spike-wielding Hassanson to obtain the dagger. He manages to kill the Hassanson after a well-aimed throw yet is fatally wounded in the process. Ciso manages to throw the dagger out of the window to Sheik and Dastan before dying. Sheik Amr then distracts the guards by serving as a decoy while Dastan shows the truth about the dagger to his brother Tuss by killing himself, only to have Tuss rewind time with the dagger. Afterward, Tuss is killed by Nizam, and Dastan is incapacitated by another Hassassin. The dagger is once again in Nizam's hands, but Dastan manages to defeat the Hassassin with Tamina's help. She realizes that the Hassanson had been a spy inside the city of Alamut and must have been the one who told Nizam about the dagger. Nizam goes to the Sanjlas caves beneath Alamut, as Dastan and Tamina race to stop him. Tamina opens a secret gate leading to the chamber, allowing them to take a shortcut to the Sanjlas. En route, they encounter the leader of the Hassansons. However, after a close fight, Dastan gets the upper hand and stabs the Hassanson before throwing him into the chasm. Dastan and Tamina then kiss. In an intense climax, our heroes find themselves in a life-or-death situation. Just as Nizam is about to accomplish his sinister plan, he is intercepted by our brave protagonist. In a heart-pounding struggle, Nizam pushes Tamina dangerously close to the edge of a treacherous chasm. With unwavering determination, Dastan reaches out and grasps her hand in a desperate attempt to save her. Knowing he cannot stop Nizam and save her, Tamina professes her love for Dastan and lets go, sacrificing herself to stop Nizam. Dastan fights Nizam as they both hold their hands on the dagger. Dastan then uses the dagger's button to open the Sands of Time container and use its power against Nizam. The sand glass slowly cracks and the sandstorm is shown destroying Alamut. Dastan is then able to use the dagger and turn back the time as the sand glass breaks, ending up at the point when he first held the dagger during the siege of Alamut. With his sharp wit and extensive knowledge, Dastan cleverly uncovers Nizam's sinister scheme to his unsuspecting brothers. He earns their trust and respect by sharing the confidential information he acquired from Tuss about their father's meeting prior to the catastrophic attack. By demonstrating his reliability and willingness to be transparent, he establishes himself as a reliable ally in a thrilling turn of events. Nizam's true intentions are brought to light, putting Dastan in grave danger. However, his devious plan takes an unexpected twist as he falls victim to the swift and skilled blade of Tuss. Justice prevails as the tables are turned, leaving audiences captivated by this dramatic climax. After apologizing for the ransacking of her city, Tuss suggests that perhaps Tamina should become Dastan's wife as a sign of goodwill. The prince returns the dagger of time to her as a gift, as she looks at him surprised. The two of them are next shown talking to each other and Tamina expressing her surprise about Dastan's sudden change in behavior and hinting that he may have discovered something to which he replies that they are in control of their own destiny. 